Hey guys, what's going on? I have a little bit of a tutorial here. It's going to be a quick one, hopefully, but it is extremely useful and I literally almost cried when I just figured this out. I tried to look this up and I couldn't figure out how in the world to do this. Okay, so I posted an article on CNN I report, as you can see right here. Posted it up, had a backup, had it copied on a notepad file, uh, just in case it didn't save or whatever, and I posted it and it worked. And then I took my link, which is up here, and I copied it and then I sent it out to sh you know show that I posted it and all that stuff. And I, it, it all of a sudden was saying, some. I sent it to somebody and they said it's not available. And they said this page comes up. So I went back to it in the same tab that I, you know, because I just refreshed the page and it came up like this. And I was like, oh crap. And I had already deleted my save because it had posted properly or so I thought. Apparently I had to post it in the wrong category so they removed it or somebody flagged it or whatever, whatever. So I was really pissed because it took me a little bit of time to write this thing down. I'm like, what in the world am I supposed to do? I was about to cry, about to cry and soak up my tears with a bowl of ice. That doesn't even make any sense. Okay, let's just stop with the jokes. Let's go. Here, look, I'm in Firefox. So this is what I did. First of all, if this ever happens, use a different browser to do your research because you don't, it's in the cache. It's cached in your computer, but you don't want to delete it and overwrite that cache by opening up other tabs and other windows and other searches within the same browser. So if something ever drastically goes wrong like this, use a different browser. I have three or four browsers installed on my MacBook. For that reason, I literally only use Firefox, really. Occasionally I use Safari, but other than that, the other browsers, I don't ever use them. So what I did is I came up here to file work offline because I knew that I could see my I report was in my history here. So what I did is I clicked on my history here, edit I report. It was in the edit tab. I'm like, I see it right there in my history. I need to get to it. And there you go. Look, there's the article right here. Shows it up. What this does is it forces your computer to go through the cache because it can't update from the internet because you just said file work offline. You told it to work offline. Make sure it's checked and you'll know it's working. So the only way that it could get to this web page that's in your history is for it to pull up the cache of the page previously cached a couple minutes ago uh, or however long ago it was done. This may work with stuff really old in your history. I'm not really sure, but I know it worked just recently because what happened, I posted it, they took it down and didn't give me a warning, a backup, they didn't give me anything, they just deleted my work, which really pissed me off. So anyways, there's my article, I got my stuff here, it's already, you know, I got it back. That's what I did, and then obviously make sure you click work on, uh, offline again so it goes back online, otherwise you won't be able to use your browser and you'll be trying to figure out what the balls is going on. So I hope that helps, and I maybe I can do some more uh, file recovery you know things this kinda I just stumbled across this I didn't see any other tutorials for how to do this I didn't this is just a method that I thought of on my own uh, I I was doing some research and I couldn't find out how to do it so I hope this helps hopefully some of you guys can recover your files this way hopefully you don't have to pull your hair out and cry and and and, and just it just uh, have a horrible night because I think I just saved the day call me Superman that's my name